another glorious morning in Uganda. It's about 7.30 a.m. here at the moment, and the African greys have come out. There's two that were landed um, for a little breakfast snack. There you go, there's the other one. The rest of the flock are further up on a very high tree, just up high to my left. There, overlooking this palm nut tree. They're not joining, but just keeping a lookout, I think. That's a grey-headed negrolis. What I've discovered is that the African greys are not obviously part of a bigger ecosystem and food chain, but I always thought that their, their place on it was rather low, but these small finches are below them. So there's a whole a whole raft of birds that rely on the greys and the greys' strong beaks for food themselves. So the greys pick at the nuts, scrape the nuts, and break the nuts open, and there's an awful lot of um, fibres and things like that that fall to the ground and fall onto the leaves and the things that the greys leave behind. And there's, there's a raft of other birds, I could probably count about maybe five or six species, that just follow the greys around, picking up after them, cleaning up after them. But I think it's especially uh, intense around the, the palm nut. They're obviously a very attractive fruit for a lot of birds, and it's only the greys that can really access them, because they're so fibrous normally. <laughs> 